Welcome to Sydney, guys. I've made the road trip with my good mate Sam uh, from the Gold Coast. It's taken about 12 hours, a few stops along the way. We've had some unreal weather for the road trip here. But we finally made it, at least anyway. So I'm happy to finally be here. Um, we're gonna go to a few op shops. Uh, Sam's got an awesome little apartment here that I've just done a tour of. And have a look at the view there as well. We're in Maroubra Beach. Uh, that is the suburb here in Sydney and it's a really good little surf town. So it's right up my alley. Uh, like I said, we're gonna go to a few op shops. Hopefully we can find some really cool stuff to sell on eBay. Um, look, I have heard word though that it is pretty expensive, the op shops here in Sydney. So as much as anything, this could just be a video of me just showing you some really expensive items. But fingers crossed there are a few things that I can purchase, um, but there are no guarantees as always. Let's get into it. It should be a fun one. I'll put as much of Sydney as I can into this video as well give you guys a bit of a look around and we'll see you in the thrift. Definitely going to be coming back and diving into this water. The conditions today are perfect. All right, so today we're going to go to Manly and we're going to go to Bondi and there's a good, there's actually a heap of op shops to check out. There's a good eight to ten op shops that I'm going to try and do today and um, fingers crossed the first couple in Manly can come up with the goods. So Let's get into there and we'll, uh, we'll see what we can find. All right, guys, now I've cruised across to Manly. We've got a Red Cross op shop to kick off the day. Fingers crossed we can get some really cool stuff. The first thing I spied here was this Tommy Hilfiger sweater. Uh, but then I saw that it was $40. Um, not looking really good to start off here. These Adidas NMDs are ones. I picked these up on the Gold Coast for around 5 to $6. You've got a taxing $80 here, man. This is not looking good at all. Paul and Shark, another uh, brand that I love to pick up. This is a really nice button-up shirt. $28 for a double XL. RM Williams, if it can get any worse, $50 for a button-up shirt. Guys, what is going on here in Sydney? I went and checked out the books. I thought, what can we find here? I, I can't really take books because I've got carry-on baggage on the flight home only. But I did see this Victoria Andrews uh, book set. I think there was 10 books in this set. They were asking a dollar each. So to be honest, that would have actually been a pretty good pickup. Comps for about $50. But unfortunately, I had to say no. CDs, $1 each for Blu-rays and CDs. I thought I'd have a pick through here. And I did come across a bit of a stack that I pulled out. Green Day, there was a bit of a collection there. Um, I found this Michael Jackson as well, which I thought I'd pick up actually for just a dollar. was comping pretty well. Uh, and then just a few others that I also found as well. There was an Interpol CD. That was pretty good. Uh, a Pearl Jam, a Metallica, and then an Offspring. But nothing that I could really buy. Jesus, guys, that is just ridiculous. There is absolutely nothing that I could really buy. And I guess I'll set the scene here. Because I'm here on holidays, I'm not trying to buy a hell of a lot of stuff because I'm going to have to take it back. I've got a flight home. It was a road trip here, but a flight home. So I don't want to be paying for baggage. I've really only got carry-on. So I'm only looking for clothing items, and I can't find a thing. I've got Paul and Shark for $24. I've got Ralph Lauren, fake Ralph Lauren polos for $18. Um, no, $24 for a fake Ralph Lauren. Madness pricing. I don't know if it's the Manly area. Um, Sydney thrifters, let me know in the comments. Is this just something you guys deal with? Because this is really gaining me, I guess, a bit of perspective on how good I've got it from a pricing sense on the Gold Coast where I'm from. Six op shops and I bought one item. So Michael Jackson, uh, double CD set, two compact disc set. Um, sells for about $33 pre, uh, pre-owned and uh, I bought it for a dollar. So maybe 20 bucks profit. 20 bucks profit after searching manly op shops for three hours. I hate going into op shops and coming out empty handed. We'll see you in there guys, see you at Bondi. Welcome to the Bondi Thrift, guys. We've been cruising around Bondi op shops for a little bit now, and to be honest, I'm not seeing too much difference to what it was in Manly. These rollerblades look $35. If you're after a good pair of rollerblades, I'd be saying, yep, buy these, but if you're looking for resale value, not the case. 
Uh, these vans as well, look, cut up vans for $16, just horrendous. You guys know I love my ASICs running shoes. Well, I found a stack of ASICs and they were all over the $15 price point. These ones were $8, but they had a really bad sole on them, so I couldn't say yes to those. I thought these Adidas shoes were quite interesting. I'd never seen them before, but um, for the price of $14, I eh, could have potentially grabbed them. These vans, now, I really actually should have grabbed these vans. They were $15. The Flair or Fleur Harris um, Cross, I, I don't exactly know which ones they were, but they look kind of interesting. I like the pattern to them. I probably should have picked them up. These as well, the 860 V7 New Balance running shoes in very, very good condition. 20 bucks. I'd never pay $20 on the Gold Coast, but if you were thrifting in Sydney, you'd probably pick those up. They were in pretty much like new condition. But guys, in the end, I came out empty-handed. So one thing that I'm not used to with these uh, city streets is it's so damn hard to find a parking spot. I'm parked in a one hour spot here, but I'm definitely illegally parked. Finally, I've got my spot. Sam's actually generously lent me his car, which is really helping this trip. Um, I'm able to get all across Sydney in Sam's car and uh, that is making life a bit easier. But the parking though, the parking is just almost impossible to find. Hey, I've got this op shop here. It's called One Off. There it is there. I'm gonna go and check out, and I'm gonna buy something today. I don't care what it is. I'm just gonna buy something. I know it's all expensive, but I figure if I can just get one or two items, um, it'll be worth it. So let's see what we can find. Well, what do we have here, guys? Most items, $5 and under. You guys know that this video won't be me going home empty-handed. I will be buying clothes in this thrift store today. Don't you worry about that. I've got to scan through all of the men's clothes, but I have a feeling there might be some that we won't be able to take home here. Um, the mango shirt wasn't really talking to me. Um, I did find these Nike shorts, these casual Nike shorts, camouflage extra large really nice pair actually my size so whether or not i go on to sell these yet to be determined but they are a very cool pair and for only five dollars i think you could turn them pretty quick on ebay hey uh, i also found some jeans i found some g-star 3301 men's jeans these are actually in really good condition they were a 36 waist a 32 length and look at that it's a yep five dollar tag so I'm definitely going to be picking these ones up. And then just some plain essential polo shirts here as well, guys. Found the Nike plain all black polo shirt. That was an XL in size. Um, also found a really nice one here too. This was Tommy Bahama. Always grab the Tommy Bahama brand when you can find it. A very nice 2XL men's polo shirt for, again, $5. The Nordica Polo, I always turn that one pretty quick. That's a general quick seller for me. A uh, bit of a, a bread and butter item, size medium for five bucks. Thanks very much. I'll be taking that one back home with me. And then what I really liked was this last one. This one here, Dragon Ball Z. This is brand new with tags, really cool colorway. And uh, I think it was a size large from memory. Um, but this is just a really sick t-shirt. I'm really happy to have found it. Well, guys, we've finally scored here. I've been able to get about six items out of Knopf's op shops, and it's five bucks in here, so we've done pretty well. Um, first actual purchase of the day, which is good. Um, I'm gonna keep charging. There's actually one just around the corner that I can go to, so I'm gonna do that now, um, and then I'll show you all the stuff that I bought in a second. So let's get into the next one. Guys, give me just a quick minute as I befriend this absolute little legend that was sitting right next to the op shops. He was an absolute cutie. So I spent some time with him, but then it was down to get to business. I had to find some items and I found this really, really cool op shop that was actually quite large in size, guys. Now, this was a Vinnie's and I had to do some real digging, but I did come away with some absolute gems. Have a look at this Rick and Morty t-shirt. I thought this was really cool. It was only $8. And t-shirts in Sydney for me were around the $15 price point. So for eight bucks, had to grab it. 2012 Canterbury Bulldogs grand final t-shirt in the NRL, the Rugby League. $8 for that one as well. I've grabbed both of those guys. So I'm actually really happy with these two purchases. They will be going on to the website. Uh, kept having a bit of a look around at some shoes. Now I probably should have grabbed these. These were the Adidas Climacles. Some very old school Adidas Climacles. And compared to the Sydney pricing that I had been seeing, 
These are only $18, so I probably could have grabbed them. They probably would have turned into 50 bucks. I might have made myself about $25 worth of profit, but I did put them back on the shelf. Had a bit further of a look, guys, and have a look at these. The Nike Air Force One, the crispy white Nike Air Force Ones. These are a really cool shoe. You could probably turn these for $60 on Facebook Marketplace. $25 though on the shoe prices that I purchased. I did leave these ones alone, guys. Um, kept moving on, found these two really cool shirts. Back into another Knoffs, actually. I went to another Knoffs in a different suburb. Banana Republic for five bucks and Gantt for five bucks. Found the Mario Kart for the Nintendo Wii, only $2. I'm going to be turning that one into $40 very fast on eBay. And then I also found a Brixton Snapback hat for $2, guys. So another six purchases to end out this little trip to Sydney. There you have it guys, all wrapped up. Four days has gone by really, really fast, Thursday through to Sunday. I've been able to get a few thrifted items. Um, fortunately, in the end, I was able to get a couple of things. I was starting to worry there at one point that I didn't think I was going to. So um, a cool couple of items, as you would have seen there, Mario Kart for the Nintendo Wii. I thought this Brixton hat, I'm gonna go and try and sell him for maybe 30 bucks. I thought he was quite good and I've only paid two bucks for him. Um, those shirts in that last op shop, um, I've grabbed those, Banana Republic and Gant as well. Those two really good brands. Um, yeah, again, 30 bucks, I'll try and sell for those. Um, so they were good uh, button up shirts for $5. That one off uh, op shop, I swear, that's the only place I'd ever go when I'm in Sydney because all the rest were just way too expensive. A um, couple of these really cool t-shirts. These are probably the, the pick of the bunch, I reckon. The Canterbury 2012 uh, Rugby League Grand Final t-shirt. That's going to go up onto the houseofmumba.com.au, uh, my new website, so you'll be able to grab it there. As will this one as well, Rick and Morty. Um, awesome t-shirt. That's really cool, actually. I was super pumped to find that. Um, $8, so that'll go up onto the website as well. Uh, the Dragon Ball Z, which I found in the very first op shop. One of the first items that I purchased. Really cool print on it, Dragon Ball Z there. Uh, brand new with tags as well, right there. So that was kind of cool. Only the one pair of jeans. It was the G-Star 3301s. Uh, I paid five for these. I'm not exactly sure of the size. I think it's a 36 waist, 32 length. So not too bad for those. Um, Tommy Bahama Polo, 30 bucks. I'll always try and sell that for. Nordica Polo, again, 30 bucks. Uh, and then this one as well, which will go for $29.99, free postage. Uh, it was the Nike, just plain black polo shirt essential. So that was kind of cool. Um, I was in a pub in Newcastle and somebody behind the bar generously, I asked how much was it? And somebody gave these to me for free. I've got two Bud Light hats. Um, so I'll be giving this one away to one random viewer uh, on this channel. All you have to do is hit the like button and leave a comment and I'll be giving away one of these Bud Light hats um, to one of you guys. And um, it will be to Australian residents only. Um, but yeah, put, the, uh, put your comments in the video. Let me know what you thought of that style of video. Um, the last one as well, I also found was these as well. I should quickly mention, because I really love these. Um, I'm gonna be putting these up onto the website. My new website is thehouseofmumba.com.au. Thrifted goods like this in these type of videos are gonna be published onto that website just for you guys, the YouTube audience. It's gonna be about 20% less of a cost to what it would be on my eBay store. So you're gonna get some really good discount by tuning in and watching these videos if there is anything that you're interested in. So fingers crossed um, you've enjoyed the episode, guys. Hit the like button, leave a comment. One lucky viewer in Australia will go and draw to win this bud. Kings of Beer hat, a really, really cool hat. I'm going to keep one for myself and wear it a few times and I'm going to give one away. So leave a comment and leave a like and be in the draw to win the hat. Um, that's everything, guys. Hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, cool little Sydney trip. I've got a lot to get stuck into now that I'm back home, but um, it was an awesome little time away. So thank you very much to Sam uh, for letting me stay over at his place. He's got an awesome setup and uh, I'm sure we'll be back again soon. So until next time, guys, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks very much for tuning into this one. This is a perfect example of my mate Chiz. Have a look at this got his dinner. We're about to go out to a game of footy and he's got his dinner going with him in the car. Shoes. So unorganised bro. Organised us, we're doing everything. <laughs>